Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for January 17th, 2024. Well, I apologize, I still have a bit of a weak voice, but I am feeling quite a bit better today. Um, big shout out to my good friend, um, Ed Carter, who took over for me yesterday and um, allowed me to get a little bit more rest and heal up from this ugliness. Let's take a look at what happened overnight here. We had some interesting moves in the market with some data that obviously was not very favorable. First off, we had Asian markets down across the board last night substantially and, and particularly the tech heavy Hong Kong exchange moved sharply lower last night to down to 3.71 percent as China um, reported a miss on their GDP um, numbers and China fell to a five-year low so a little bit of pressure um, continuing to show over there in the Chinese markets and really pointing to that issue of a weakening consumer and a slowing economy around the world. If we take a look at European markets this morning, European markets are decidedly bearish across the board this morning, feeling quite a little bit of pressure as UK inflation um, is back on the rise. So some issues certainly coming into play over there as well. Looking at US markets here this morning, we are also decidedly bearish, but we're already trying to bounce up here in the pre-market and it's only 5.41 a.m. and we're already trying to get a little bit of a pre-market uh, pump going on here. Oil, interestingly enough, um, even with uh, warnings from Iran this morning um, to the U.S., uh, we have a um, uh, the strengthening dollar, the dollar getting much stronger here, is having a negative effect on oil. So it's kind of balancing that out at the moment. We have oil down a dollar thirty-two um, a barrel this morning at seventy-one oh eight, and Brent is falling a dollar twenty-eight. Natural gas is continuing that big move, that big reversal back down here this morning as well. Now, that being said, we are continuing to see bond yields move higher. Our two-year bonds are at 4.29%. Our 10-year is now at 4.6%. The 30-year is at 428 And our short-term bonds are continuing to show um, a, a bit of a tenacity to move back higher. So we'll have to keep a pretty close eye on those figures here as well. So what does all this mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. Once again I apologize for this weak voice. Hopefully it's not coming across too terrible this morning. Let's take a look at these uh, index charts and see if we can gain a little bit of information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, clearly yesterday was a little bit on the bearish side pushing down and unfortunately what we're experiencing right now is we're experiencing some very big point swings and those swings are because we have just uh, been so relentlessly bullish here in the market that it's creating some painful moves as we pull back. Now, looking at the diamonds chart, you can certainly see that there's nothing wrong here with this chart. We continue to maintain a, a quite bullish stance here, holding into this longer consolidation in the market. And if you'll look right in here, yesterday we did break down just a little tiny bit below the low of this white candle right here, where we had popped lower 
here in the market and now we're gapping a little bit lower here this morning so our next level to potentially test if the bears continue to fight would be down here in this area of the chart see if we can push down toward that black candle uh, bottom and if that were to fail well then just kind of keep in mind that we could come on back and we could retest that all-time high breakout here this year on the diamonds now if the bulls reject that if we can bounce off of this area and push back up if the bulls reject first thing i'm going to do is uh, push this up here and say well a retest of this resistance up in this area would be the most likely um, area for that bounce back and if we can break back through this area of resistance then of course we have that potential we can move right back up here retesting these highs so keep a close eye on the diamonds here um, I, I suspect we could um, see a little bit of a painful uh, type move today if those bears really grab a hold if we take a look at our spy SPY has been one of those elusive uh, things here getting that all-time high even though big tech is doing everything it can to uh, push this up and break it out it's just not happening there's more stocks in decline than we've had moving up and as you can see here in the spy we're kind of giving up this trend but i don't think this is terrible yet there is that possibility that what we're looking at here is a double top we'll want to watch that carefully you can see um, we're gapping back down here this morning after that afternoon rally back trying to decide whether or not um, there is some major concerns or consequences um, in our economy so watch that carefully if the bears continue to push if i pull this back over here you'll see that this is a support area in the chart that goes all the way back here into 2021 and then of course into 2022 where we had multiple highs right there in that area so keep an eye on that if the bears really push us on down maybe a test down in here now breaking that area is where it could get really nasty if we were to pop down through there then i do think there's a possibility we could come on down and maybe test some of these lows here in the chart which would be a relatively big point move and probably would raise a little fear here in the market if the bulls can can reject and we can hold this area of price support right in here then a retest back up in here certainly seems like a likely possibility our QQQ may have a little bit of a rough day today just with the big moves that I'm seeing in Hong Kong here on tech and we do want to notice that possibility of this topping pattern here as well that certainly is a potential of a top now you can look at that as a double top but I look at that I favor that little bit of a lower high in here on um, I, uh, on the QQQ but it's not bad yet as a matter of fact this still sets up as a relatively good bullish potential setup because we broke down through support we've crossed back up and now we're holding in this area to hold it as support so if the bears if the bears push this on down and you can see they're already trying to pump this back up in the pre-market if they can hold this area of support we're probably in good shape and we would retest these resistance levels up here in the qqq but if the bears grab a hold of this and push on through the real worry would be if we break that support breaking that support would probably raise some fear in the market we might come on down and test that big black candle right in here as a low and then um, it, we could even sink um, that far in the chart coming on down here to this bigger major area of the nasdaq and you can see that situation that we're dealing with as we have pushed stocks to virtually perfection in their pricing and now we're starting to see in these earnings at least from the big banks that well they're not as 
they're not as stellar as we would like them to be so just be a little bit careful here um, in these charts again if the bulls though hold in this area no harm pushing back up here to test these resistance levels look like a possibility and we're not out of the realm of a good strong push to the upside that could break those resistance areas and then if we look at IWM IWM well IWM is showing us more of a problem here as you can see breaking support breaking trend and we have officially uh, put in a lower high here on IWM and that possibility that we have drawn out that inverted head and shoulders pattern that I've been drawing on the chart here for the last couple of weeks so we'll want to watch that carefully and here this morning we're pushing down to test this area of price support in the chart if the bears push on through there well you can see there is a level right in here that we might be able to pick up a little bit more price support so watch carefully for that if the bulls however find inspiration here today we could bounce up off of here i would look for a retest of this resistance area up here first and if we can break back through there right back up here to this trend break here in the chart by the way it's time to turn this red because that now becomes a significant resistance in the chart with that failure here um, we held it as resistance and continued to push lower so keep a close eye there let's take a look at our vix our vix had a little bit of fear yesterday pushing up here in the market but they're that end of day rally that tried to push us back up as you can see we uh, pulled that back here on the day but we, it is noticeable that we moved pretty sharply here up off of that low and if you remembered i kept warning about that possibility that this inverted hammer could really potentially mean um, that reversal here in the vix and um, well there it is now the good news for the bulls here is we haven't broken to a new high we pushed up here we're testing this area of resistance in the chart but we haven't pushed on through to a new high so today that possibility could exist with that bearishness that we're seeing in the pre-market watch that carefully here if we were to push up on higher making a higher high that's where things start to get maybe just a little bit concerning for the bulls and um well that's where you start to see that uh, uncertainty really start to creep up in the market so watch that carefully here in the vix it seems that the the uber confidence um, here in the market may be slipping just a little bit and then if we take a look at our uh, t2122 now this might be one of our best hopes of a relief rally here soon and that is t2122 as you can see pushing back down here into this bullish reversal zone here um, so watch that carefully with this potential move down this morning we'll be down here likely pretty close to the bottom of this move now i will warn you that oftentimes when we linger up here for a long period of time we can linger down here for a period of time so that uncertainty is starting to creep up here in the market so watch that carefully this doesn't necessarily mean we turn right around and bounce back up it could mean that but it could also mean that we might linger here just a little bit as we continue to sort out the details of the geopolitical situation uh, causing issues and of course uh, well maybe uh, some problems with inflation um, continuing to be an issue for us here um, in the market let's take a look at our uh, t2108 our t2108 continues to fall here uh, stretching lower we came down into this 50 percent area here of the chart now i will tell you that this honestly is probably a healthy thing uh, for the market this pullback here um, into this mid area of the chart and this there's an awful lot of price support in here so if we can find some bullish energy here today this would be a pretty good reason for us to get a relief or a bounce back up here in the chart but we also want to keep in mind if we continue to sell if we were to break down through these support areas of the chart 
Well, again, that could raise some fear in the market, and we could see a lot of folks kind of running for the door all at the same time. And I think the big question that we're going to have to ha answer here before too long is, are we going to maintain um, uh, this bullishness in the indexes based almost solely on seven stocks? If we do, what that's telling us is we've got far more stocks selling off than those seven majors that are continuing to hold us up. If, if Just imagine if something happens in those seven majors and they start to see some selling, um, how damaging that could be to this market. Let's fingers crossed that doesn't happen, but we'll want to watch that pretty carefully. If we were to take a look at our uh, T2107, now T2107 continuing to push back, we um, failed a little bit of price support here in the chart, but I don't see anything tragic here just yet. Um, a push down in here toward the 50% area would find some pretty good support. And I think there's a chance we could reach down there this morning in the pre-market move. So watch that carefully here today. If we can hold in this area and bounce up off of there, probably not much to worry about. If we were to break on down through there, I would expect to see fear creep up. There's some more support levels in here that we could test. So we'll want to be watching carefully if that were the case. And then if we take a look at T2101, T2101 actually saw a little bit of turn back up here yesterday. And that's as the sellers came in, we had a little bit of increase in breadth. Here's the good news. That breadth increase wasn't so substantial as to be a major worry just yet. However, the selling today, if that continues to extend us in a selling move on um, um, this down and this move down this morning, if that breadth increases, that might raise a little bit of concern here. We'll have to wait and see. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today and our economic calendar well yeah it's a little bit of a busy one here today uh, we've got quite a bit going on this morning with mortgage applications coming in this morning and retail sales now that's going to be a big one for us here today retail sales um, um, they're expecting that to come in here at a 0.4 um, they're looking X vehicles to stay flat and they're looking at X vehicles and gas to decline. So watch that carefully here today. We'll see if that Christmas shopping was as strong as uh, we had hoped for. So watch that carefully here on retail sales. After that, we've got import export prices that we'll wanna be keeping an eye on. They're looking for some negative numbers coming in here on that. We've got two Fed speakers here today, and that could be interesting with some of the numbers that we've seen here recently. Um, you know, particularly this Empire State number, this was horrible. Uh, I mean, absolutely horrible. They were expecting a negative 4.7. It came in at a negative 43.7. I mean, holy cow, that's showing our manufacturing is in a terrible situation at the moment and is continuing to indicate that slowing economy. Now, if we take a look, we're gonna have industrial production here today. They're expecting that number to come in at a negative 0.1 from a 0.2, so a decline there. Um, hopefully we don't get a big surprise on this like we did in that Empire State number. Manufacturing output at 0.0, .0 declining, and we're seeing capacity utilization and a potential decline based on consensus. So again, maybe a slowing economy. We've got business inventories coming in. They're looking at that coming in at a, zero, a negative 0.1 from a negative 0.1 last time, kind of flat. And um, those business, whoops. I already did that. Um, we've got the Atlanta Fed expectations number here today, some bond auctions, the beige book, and we have William speaking here toward the end of the day. So keep that in mind. As you plan forward into Thursday, pretty big day as well here on Thursday. We've got Bostic early in the morning, housing starts and permits, jobless claims, a Philly Fed number, natural gas, 
and petroleum status will be coming in here on Thursday for some reason. I don't know, uh, probably just because of the holiday. And then we've got Bostic uh, coming in here toward the end of the day along with some tips auctions and the Fed balance sheet. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar here for today. Um, you will want to remember guys that earnings are going to begin to ramp up and um, so you'll want to make sure that you make note where the link is that will take you back to the blog where you can catch that full list of notables. So far, not so many that I can't cover here this morning, but just keep in mind, you may want to be able to know where that link is and go back to the morning blog to get that full list of notables as we ramp up on those numbers. First off, we've got Alcoa here um, reporting today. It looks like moving a little bit lower here in the pre market Obviously, strengthening dollar also weakens um, anything in commodities pretty substantially. So that's a pretty normal move in that big head and shoulders pattern up here, pushing us down, fulfilling that pattern, coming into a little bit of support. We're going to hear from Schwab today. Um, Schwab dipping just a little bit below this price support in here in the pre-market. We'll want to watch that carefully. We have um, CFG reporting today, also losing a little bit of support here. We're starting to see some concerns in these regional banks uh, pushing back. So watch those closely as we continue to report. Uh, DFS also showing um, a little bit of concern here initially, but a nice bullish move here so far this morning. So watch that carefully. This might be that bullish move we need to push this on up and help out some of those regionals here. If we take a look at uh, Fuller, um, Fuller, break of support, break of trend, trying to hold in here a possible head and shoulders pattern showing up in here. Let's watch that one carefully on that report. Um, Kinder Morgan. Kinder Morgan has been pushing to the upside here. Remember, Kim, Kinder Morgan is more of a pipeline than it is um, anything else. And Kinder Morgan's trying to break out of this longer term downtrend here in the chart. Now, I will say this is a very choppy, messy chart. But let's keep an eye on this. If we can hold some of this upside trend, hold support in here on a decent report, we start may start moving to the upside. Can't say that's going to be the case, but I think it's worth keeping an eye on. Uh, PLD also showing a little bit of bearishness here. Real estate trust uh, pushing down here today, trying to hold on to that price support, but showing some double tops and lower highs in here after sliding past its trend. Um, SNV, SNV also in decline, lower highs, lower lows heading into its earnings report. Um, again, these regional banks are starting to show a little bit of a problem, so watch that closely. Um, USB, another regional, um, also breaking support here in the chart, um, showing us a little bit of concern as we head into that earnings. And WTFC uh, for the last here, another regional bank. This one's holding in there pretty well. We'll see how this reports. You, you'll notice that we've got a little bit of a lower high, but at the same time, we have that potential that we could create a higher low off of this support. So a little bit of a wedging pattern here on uh, wind trust. So watch that close. So with that, how about we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, if you guys could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, that would be click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. And I want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. I apologize yesterday. I didn't answer those uh, comments. I was just feeling so crummy. I just went back to bed. So um, I'll be back on that task here today, answering those comments. So thank you everyone who does take the time. Let's take a look at um, some of these stocks setting up. And remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Do your own due diligence, follow your rules, never ever 
ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. First off, let's take a look at a couple, um, well, defensive sector um, stocks here. Um, uh, Mondelez, even though it pulled back here and showing a little bit of pressure here in the pre-market, this is still a pretty darn impressive chart. Holding up in here, you can see we're finally sliding out here toward our trend, resting back here toward that trend. Let's watch this support area. If we can get a little buying showing up here in the market, might help MDLZ push on through to the upside. I think it's worth keeping an eye on. And I do think you might want to be keeping an eye on Coke, although it had a little tiny bit of selling there yesterday and trying to push back here this morning. This is still holding up pretty darn well here in the chart. We got this resistance in here to worry about, but let's watch if we can hold this consolidating area in here, look for that next opportunity maybe for that to push on through to the upside. And I'm gonna to continue to mention Walmart here because Walmart continues in this nice little upside move, made that higher low, broke through this resistance, continuing to hang in here. Clearly there's some resistance in this chart up here in that chart but I think there's a pretty good opportunity this may continue to move on through and fill that gap here on Walmart so watch that closely we have plenty of time till the next earnings here on Walmart so watch that closely let's take a look at MU MU now I have a little bias on this I did pick this up yesterday um, as a buy point you can see my price alert here on the chart we'll see if that can follow on through here now tech is feeling a little bit of pressure here today but one thing I will say about MU is it, it, it can really take advantage of this boom in AI and it's one that has lagged way behind other companies so watch this carefully if we could push on through this resistance here in the chart we could easily be up here testing these resistance levels um, without too terrible much trouble but just keep a close eye on that I did go along that so again I have a little bit of bias on that and you'll want to take that into consideration um, let's take a look at some other areas of the market here um, showing a little bit of concern for us um, Roku um, breaking through some support levels here in the chart and breaking down um, continuing to follow this downtrend here on Roku so I would watch this carefully guys I think any consolidation over or any rally back would set up that next potential short um, on that stock I'm running into some major issues there boy Baba had a brief um, dalliance in the sun here rallying back to this downtrend I saw a lot of people rushing in the Baba thinking this was finally the bottom here but we just ran into that downtrend and we continued to move on lower you know something I say to myself over and over and over again and something that you guys might find useful as well when we're rallying back toward a resistance level it's it's easy to get caught up in that fear of missing out but the thing that I repeat to myself is how many times do we have to fail right along this trend line before I believe it's true. So kind of keep that in mind. What I usually require is a stock to break out of that trend, hold a higher low, and then show me we can follow through before I get too excited about buying it up. And now you can see what's happening here in BABA. We broke down, tested support, made a lower high, and now we are cavitating here on BABA, continuing to move sharply lower here in the chart. And I think there's a chance we could be seeking out this next level down here in the mid to low 60s area of BABA. So watch that carefully if you want to take a short. Um, I'm, I'm also looking at some kind of some disturbing um, patterns here in our refiners. Um, Halliburton breaking support here yesterday, breaking down sharply. Um, Halliburton looks short. Now, on the other hand, uh, Valero, uh, Valero still hanging in here with that possibility. It tried to move up yesterday and then gave it all back. Watch this little area of support in here. If we continue to break this on down, 
Bolero could be a problem here as well. And I'm seeing a lot of that in this energy area, a lot of back and forth, a lot of volatility where we've got rig just really cavitating through a major level of price support. So any rally back here now sets up that next opportunity for a downside move. Let's take a look at a little bit of tech here. AMD had a huge day yesterday, just really popping and finally breaking um, through this resistance here in the chart. And now we're probably going to try and reach up here and test these highs and see if we can break those all-time highs here in AMD. It's another one of those examples where uh, anything in big tech right now, uh, you just we just don't care what the prices are and what the PE ratios are. We're just chasing and chasing and chasing. So be really careful in these because if these start to falter, it could have a major impact on the overall markets with if the MAG-7 starts to sell. So watch that closely. And last but not least here today, take a look what happened here in JCI. JCI was looking like this was getting all kinds of setup for an upside move and then talk about being smacked down hard. So what we wanna watch here, we've got a little bit of price support in this chart. If we're able to bounce back up off of here, then I would be looking for the next potential short here in JCI. Bad, bad move yesterday overall. So watch that one carefully. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for listening. I truly appreciate it. And I will see you right back here, hopefully with a bit stronger voice on Thursday. Take care, everyone. Have a great day.